Welcome to part 36, and we were going to continue repairing this stuff. side or the other to weld. You don't have to do both. Because it'll be so close when you're in the mesh smooth it doesn't even matter. And there we go. Repairs are done. Go into mesh smooth to verify. And they are. Just checking all around the wall. Alright. Make a little hole in our toilet, I guess. Just like this. Uh, inset it a bit. Uh, scale. And. Hmm. Let's extrude down. from edge, pick hinge, just pick one of them, it doesn't really matter. Give it a few seconds. Okay, wrong hinge. Alright, there we go. And it's good. Go back into mesh move. Light problem. Probably something which isn't going to be good. No, so it doesn't like those triangular faces, so bring that back. Um, let's extrude. Okay. Press E, rotate it. Drag it back. Move it down a bit. And then we'll try the mesh smooth. And that gives us much better results. So to finish it off, at least not, well, not finish it off, but just extrude it one more time in the other direction. And then inset it ever so slightly back there. This will give us a nice little hole we're looking for. Alright. Wow, that was a difficult thing. So, in the front view, let's scale this down again. Alt-B, files. Let's choose this picture right here. This is for the front. So rotate this uh, 90 degrees. W. And then just scale it up until this part matches. I think. So that'll be about right. And all we can match them up perfectly in the final one, so make a box like so okay convert to editable poly and then just drag it to both sides connect bring it out Actually, have to bring it up a bit as well, and then scale in a bit. Go into perspective just for a second here. Inset it, and then just extrude it inward a bit, and inset it one last time. All right. Give this a mesh smooth modifier.
we're gonna have to do more with the edges still, but try to make sure the top is good. Uh, that's not bad. So select all the edges here. Loop. And these as well. And even these. Chamfer. Make them kind of large. And there we go. We have a nice uh, top thing to work with. So, Alt B, Files. Change the background to this top picture. Okay. Front. Let's just rotate this 90 degrees. And we're going to have to scale it. Well, actually, just scale everything. Alright. Make it a bit smaller. Scale like that. And then let's apply an FFD to it. 4x4 four four should be nice. Alright, control points. Let's select these two and drag them down. This will give us some of the curve we want. Select these and scale them out. Select these and scale them out a bit more. Okay. Perspective here. And our shape is looking very nice. So, going to the front. Oops, get rid of this. Alright, and let's create a top for this. So, we actually can use. Close the spline. Um, and then we're going to want to convert it to an editable spline. And select all these verts and change them to smooth. And then just start aligning them so they match the contours better. Finally, we're going to extrude. So extrude it. Doesn't really matter. Well, we get a little smaller than that. Might convert to an editable poly. And select one side there, delete. Shift drag, copy, mirror on the x-axis. Right, attach. Um, select all the vert. Oops, top. Right. Select all the verts in the center here. Weld. Okay, and then make sure we didn't make any stupid mistakes while welding. And we didn't. So we can select this edge and center here, backspace, backspace, select inside here, inset it, and extrude it inward. Okay. Give it a small chamfer. Alright, and that'll be it for this part.